Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Dumb Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the I'm sticks. I'm holding a flipping stick in my hand. And we're playing Madden 20, the oil... The, the, the 20th poppers. effing edition of a game about football. <laughs> I was going to do an R. As always, playing off as only see with that D in that balance playbook and playing on all Madden our arcade mode. <laughs> I need you to get it together. <laughs> Dude, I am feeling good right now. Are you? I think I want some whiskey. Wait, what? Excuse me. Where is this coming from? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you feel good and you just turn to alcoholism? <laughs> I feel great. Let's drink whiskey. Wait, isn't it usually? Uh, never mind. We well, just did our episode addiction. I mean, our episode on addiction yesterday. <clears throat> no, I mean it might be a couple days ago. We alternate these vids. No, oh, that's true. I love. <laughs> we get all mixed up. Oh God. Uh, so, oh God. Yeah. So uh, I started a new job because you know I've been unemployed. We've, we've gone through that over the last couple of weeks here. But, uh, uh, yeah, dude, you're started, homeless, basically. <laughs> started a new job, and uh, I had to go through orientation, which means, you know, like, the, your first day, you're always just kind of, like, shadow shadowing somebody. Yeah, either that or you're sitting in front of a computer the whole day, one of the two, doing, like, <laughs> online training. Well, yeah, yeah. So it was after all of that. Business. Oh, I got you. So okay. it was, like, my first day actually on a job where I just, like, shadowed Oh, yeah, you're, somebody. like, shadowing somebody. Yeah, gotcha. So I got, like, this, this older uh, white lady. Um... And <clears throat> she was, you know, naturally. Next boy gonna give it to me. Oh, and Brody fumbles, picks it back up. Oh my God, he's gonna uh, die. Naturally, she was a little. Uh, I don't want. I'm surprised to see who I was. I guess. Oh, like you walk in the door and she's like, oh. "You're the nurse that's coming." In. <laughs> don't say. <laughs> Everybody knows now. I don't care. But yeah, so she was a little excited to see me. The seven or, people. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. So she was a little, um, a little shocked to see me show up at yeah. the door for you know the the healthcare job, and I was like, "Hey, what's up?" <laughs> but uh, naturally, after talking to me for a while, she like you know opened up. Yeah, I mean we were. We were together for like 12 hours straight. It was a 12 hour. Oh, wow. Trip. You got to know her. Yes. I learned everything about this woman because she talked and I just listened. <laughs> which is what like, you do when you're around women. Which is, you know, I mean, I guess. So, like, uh, there was one point. Oh, look at that. <laughs> there, was one, there, was, there was one point. <laughs> Where she was talking about uh, her living situation. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, so I live in a mobile home. And I was like, oh, that's, you know, that's cool. I'm not here to judge anybody for living in a mobile home. Right. I don't care. Then she said, you know, she had some neighbors and she was like, yeah, there's uh, there's some Mexicans that stay near me. And I was like, okay, you know, I probably would have used a different term. But, you know, who am I? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, they are from Mexico. Exactly. A Mexican is not a dirty word. Oh, I'm it's tired like, of it's, people. It's, the, it's the, the citizens of a country. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It can be used as like a negative word. Yeah, but on the same note, if somebody was to approach me and say, hey, you American bastard, and be like, yeah, you dang right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, I guess. Well, yeah, I guess we never think of it like that. It's literally like their country of origin. Exactly. But it'd be like somebody calling us Americans. Exactly. Even though they're Hispanic. Yes. They, you know, because there could be white people that are Mexicans. Yes. Because they're from Mexico. Yes. I got you. Yeah. But yeah, so I feel, I feel you. Mexican is not a dirty but word. But if, if you say it like, oh, I got, you know, then you're like, wait. That's, oh, there's a bunch a of Mexicans. Lazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got some Mexicans living next it's to me. All, it's all in your tone of voice, right. I guess. Well, yeah, it's inflection, dude. But if they said, oh, there's just a bunch of Americans. I'm going to say that to someone one day, like, moved into this new complex. It's a bunch of GD Americans <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Started this new job. There's so Americans. Oh my god, not Americans. <laughs> so I see the look on somebody's face. Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> and then. <laughs> makes me laugh, dude. That's so ignorant. All right. And, Americans. And then she proceeded to tell me that there was a nice colored couple that oh, lived. Oh, 
Oh, no. Jonas, I see, as soon as she said there was a nice colored couple, I was like, wait. Hmm. I let it slide. I let it slide. I was just like, you know what? I understand now that I live in Texas and that I was just bound to run. Is she, is she like grandpa, like from another time? She is like in her 60s. I think I think she was like early sixties. So, anyways, so, so right, you re you realize like you're in Texas, okay? <laughs> so I'm like, I, I didn't say anything about it. I just let it. Did slide. she like not even like bat an eye? Oh yeah, yeah. It oh like after she old. said it, she realized. Like, no, no. She, oh, she just like like it was. Just, yeah. Oh my god. Like oh no, is that what you guys like to be called? <laughs> She's like, is it okay if I call you guys that? <laughs> oh my god, dude, Jesus. Yeah, so Anyways. um, I'm not I'm not gonna sit up here front, dude. I'm I don't I don't I've, I haven't heard the term colored in a long time. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's that's like old school racist. <laughs> yeah, and then you know she only compounded it later when oh like my maybe God, what she said. maybe four hours later she was like, you know what? I really like Donald Trump. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, "That's cool." Did you get into her about like get it like start like crying? I know uh, you like to cry. Like I, I do the same thing. I love to like get information out of people. No, um, to to a certain extent, I was like, I was like, uh, I really don't have a problem with you know uh, the country as a whole, but I do think that you know yeah. it is better to re to uh, remain silent and be thought a fool than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. <laughs> and I feel like that that's the one of the issues with the administration. But we're not getting into the right, right, political. Okay. So, you know, she let that slide and then I was like, Oh calling me colored, uh <laughs> Trump supporter. Kinda go hand in hand anyway. And this is just a rando that works or not like your boss or anything, right? No, no. And then, like the the thing that I thought was really kind of strange was towards the end. After of the, all of this, there's still more. Oh yeah, there's still more. Oh my god! So, I'm so glad you didn't tell me about this until now because it makes a way better podcast. So towards the end of the shift, she's like, "Oh, we should exchange numbers," and like she's like, "Just uh, text me your number," and I was like, "Oh, okay." So I, you know, she was like, so we can keep in contact. I'm like, but lady, I'll probably never see you again. You're like, well, and I don't want to hang out with an old racist, too. <laughs> 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 I mean, to be completely blunt and honest about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I want I want to put this in the air because we we were talking about this uh, the other day when. Uh, Jonas uh, decided to bring a young lady over. I'm going to tell this story, too. Jonas decided to bring a young lady over. Um, we had both uh, talked to her prior prior to uh, him bringing her over. But uh, she came over. She was intoxicated. And then uh, she said something about she likes to go to restaurants, but she always gets chicken fingers. And I was like, yeah, I could see that. Chicken fingers are pretty good. And then she said... Uh, in front of the both of us uh, says the black person in the room now uh jonas that is what i would consider racist uh toned conversation and okay I, as opposed to what as opposed to not just, oh oh i thought you just meant that other than blatant racism yeah or and like, it's just the thing of like uh if that kind of statement is in your heart or in your mind or it's something that's in your in real your house, lex real yeah. house of it's a, if speaking. It's, yes, if it's in your lexicon, then that means is that in private you're probably saying worse stuff. I feel like the things that you would say in front of another race or uh, you know, like only kind of like leads a shadow onto like what you would say in in uh well, right. right. It's company. like it's like if you get caught cheating, it ain't your first time you get caught cheating. You know what I mean? Like if you get caught saying some racist ish, <clears throat> it ain't the first time you said some racist ish. Yeah, and it was kind of like my whole idea of like uh, I I use the, we're gonna get demonetized. I used the whole idea of like a person who's into like kitty porn. Like I don't walk around talking about how hot underage girls are. Because I don't 
thing under his right. grill. Right. <laughs> exactly. exactly. But if you walk into the room and you're saying, ooh, look at the dress on that toddler, then, like, people are going to, like, wait a minute, what are you talking about? Oh, no, dude, I'm not I'm not into that. I'm just saying, right. it's like, look at that. Yeah. Whatever, motherfucker. Yeah, dude, like, there was this guy I used to work with at Blockbuster. <laughs> wait a minute, you worked with a pedophile? No. Oh. And he, he, had a, he had a teenage daughter yeah. who was, like, 14 or something, and he literally he like half the time he always would talk about how beautiful his daughter was and like my daughter's super hot and da 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 wait and a I'm, minute fam come on and, and everyone that worked with him was like isn't it weird how he just constantly talks about how beautiful and hot his teenage daughter is constantly like I mean, and who knows what happened to the dude, but like dude, we're talking about Asha Beulah it was, here. He, but he was from like Erie or something, Ooh. and it was it was just weird. Like I've heard people be like, "I have an attractive kid" or whatever, but like it was like using words like beautiful and hot to talk about like his hot teenage is, daughter. Hot is kind of maybe he up. didn't call her hot, but he would always talk about how beautiful she was or how whatever. But like enough that it was weird. Like you know, somebody would be like, "Oh, look at my daughter! Isn't she beautiful?" Great. But when you do that 19 times a shift for weeks on end, did did he say that if she wasn't my if she wasn't my daughter, <laughs> she might be taking her to prom. She might be dating me. Oh, he never said anything that blatantly weird. You know, you know who did say that about their daughter? Marty Janetti. Uh, no, somebody we were talking about earlier in the thing that we're not going to get into. Did say that he would date his own daughter if she wasn't his daughter. Oh, uh, the Oompa Loompa? Wow, I'm not going there, man. I didn't go there either. We're talking about the guy who played Oompa Loompa. <laughs> but yes, anyways, back to like, yeah, like if <sighs> if you get caught doing anything that like is bad, yeah, it's, vi I mean, I'm sure there is somebody who the first time they've ever cheated on anyone gets caught. The first time they ever say anything ignorant, somebody catches them. Yeah. But that is not the, that's the it's exception not, by yeah. far. So like you know you just don't you don't say things that aren't necessary like if you if you walk in the room start talking about drug paraphernalia look man you do drugs we can tell all right <laughs> it's just, okay but anyway so because you have knowledge about things that like <laughs> people who know about stuff talk about it amen you know what I mean and like but I don't know if she was like like a all right, so there's, like, <laughs> different levels to racism. Yeah, oh, I, I agree to this 100%. There's racism, like, pure, unadulterated hatred racism. Right, where every time you talk about another race, you say a slur, you say all the yeah. negative things about you, things that are... Uh, you can't even those. see a person right. with a darker skin tone without just, like, regurgitating racist remarks. Right, right, right. That's deep racism. And then you got, like, on the other end of the spectrum, you got, like, oh, you know, aren't... All black people poor, <laughs> right. but, but there's but there's also a level between that. Oh, of course, yeah. that's that's why I said the other end of the spectrum. So I think she might have been on the other end of the spectrum because yeah, she sent me a text message maybe two days later, uh huh, prompting me for some conversation, Jonas. Oh yeah, yes. Now now look. I'm not one to think that, you know, she was interested in me, but I think she might have been interested uh -huh. in me. Because I'm like, why is a 60-year-old woman hitting me up? For, like, we ain't, we ain't friends. Oh, I thought you meant the woman that, like, I brought over here. This No, uh, the nurse, no, 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 no. The I'm nurse <laughs> hit you up? The woman. Oh, no, we just. <laughs> the woman I, the the woman I was I'm on so my sorry, orientation dude. with yes. hit me up and said, she hit me up with some crazy stuff talking about the work day and how are you and stuff. <laughs> Needless to say, I didn't answer her she text was like, message. She was like, I noticed an abnormally large bulge in your pants at work. I mean, did you, she ain't wrong. Did you happen to have a summer sausage in your pants? Because I really have a bunch of crackers, and I would love to share that sausage with you. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, she's not wrong. <laughs> and it does pair well with crackers, <laughs> funny enough. A little nibble, a little nibble, you yeah. know? You put some Ritz. Put some Ritz on the tip, dude. It'll be <laughs> boom. Just Nail don't, in the coffin. Just don't, just don't bite it. She swallowed it. Yeah. It's the world's biggest <laughs> trick. Don't tell <Jonas. laughs> Calm the frick down. All right. <laughs> all right. That is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make We're sure to We're done? Like <laughs>
Cher the Andrews. game is still going on. Cher <laughs> oh, it's over now. It All is. Right. Yeah. Like right. and subscribe if you've already done that. Share something with your friend. Have your mama come over and hang out. Yeah, don't be racist. Send your old racist grandma <laughs> to tell her not to be racist and watch our stuff. <laughs> but for Jonas, TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We are out.